Can right. I get a round of clap emojis for our backup host, <laughs> Yeesh? Yes, yes. Uh, unfortunate timing with the power outage there. Some weather, I think, uh, where a bear is, uh, found its way into the cave, I guess. But Yeesh is uh, on hand uh, to fill in. We really appreciate it, and uh, I'm excited to get going. All right. So, back to business. We've got Jake opening things up on the spy side of Aquarium. We've got Fabsies on the sniper. Game number one in three, two, one, playing it. And Jake induces an unusually high number of civilian shots, not just in general, but even for Challenger, where you'd expect more of that. Fabsies, though, uh, does not shoot many civilians. So this is one player's strength sort of against another, but I gotta say on Aquarium, I'd give the odds to the spy there. Jake opens things up with a long range flirt for 20% and immediately steps away into conversation with the double agent who is not having it and leaves. That's a little rough. 20% is not much, but the fact that they're prioritizing it, Tobo, we see all year that in the lower divisions, getting flirt done is really, really tough. One of the reasons Jake is at the top of Challenger is because they prioritize it, get it done about two thirds of the time. Also went for a attempted reverse drive by bug as the ambassador entered conversation, but it did not take. Now picking up the briefcase, we grab the first fingerprint. You say the first. Sounds like you think they're going to finish, and I think that's a pretty good bet. They don't fingerprint at a crazy high rate, but 14%, not bad. Now when you pick one up that early, you're going to be on the lookout for more. Well, what's interesting is that the ambassador came to them, and I wonder if they actually know etiquette well enough to realize that as soon as they left that conversation, they were obligated to pick it up. But I think your theory is better. First, uh, sorry, second flirt comes in. Uh, close white brings up the 54%. So if we can hit a green test on the next one, we are in three flirt range. But that does hinge us on hitting the green. And Thabsies is going with statue highlights. And if your opponent highlights for statues on Aquarium, it, you are really obligated to note who goes. Well... Jake is the one going right now as he picks up a couple of inspects. And a fingerprint, and I believe. the last fingerprint he needs. Yep, yep. So there wasn't a huge delay there, but it's kind of spaced out. And again, it's Aquarium. It's done early now. The question is, with that done, do they want to finish inspects at all? It'd be tempting not to go. Do you want to go silent? You probably don't want to go bugless, but you still have a lot of other options. No highlight, though. Very strange. Jake on the way back in can afford a small distance because we're up at 54%. Assuming we hit this green test. Can he? He cannot. It's 87. And what's strange is I thought for a second maybe Cowboy had gotten a highlight for finishing in specs, but I'm looking to, I'm scouring the uh, game so far and I don't see a first statue visit, so I wonder if they just missed it. Minute and 10 seconds left to play. Still only the one completion, but it is fingerprint, which means there's a lot of options still on the table. Flirt is almost done. Inspects are almost done. We're stepping into statues here. We still have the contact on and the bug both on the table. Now we've got the inspects finish up. That's two out of four. Seduce will bring us down to one mission to go, and we're in conversation with the double agent here. We just bang, bang, get both missions done right here. Even Middle Shark to cover for some of it. Double Agent steps away! The Ambassador goes for a perfectly buggable position if we were quick on the reverse drive-by, but it doesn't quite happen. Now under 30 seconds to play. It looks like it's going to be a purloin. It's going to be bottom shark, though. You're going to get no cover, but you could delegate. I think you might want to delegate here, even though that's risky. Things really fell apart when that double agent left, though. That was going to be such a clean game before that. There might not be time. We're already under 10 seconds. Can we get a delegate off and get to a conversation fit fast enough to get it off? I don't think we can. So he just takes the list straight up. It's going to be six seconds of overtime, but the shot is not correct. And Jake picks up game number one. 
It was evident from Thabzi's camera angle that they weren't really even looking for the purloin late. It was pretty visible, but they were totally uninterested in Ponytail at bar. And that's for the reason we've alluded to before, Tobo. It's actually not that hard to get away with one mission, especially on Aquarium. The key is, can you get three missions done without being a suspect? In this case, they seem to get away with the fingerprint. They don't pick up a highlight for the early statue inspect. So when they go a second time, no alarm bells go off, and they're not even being watched when they purloin at the end. Everything worked out very well for Jake. Let's see what happens to Fabsies as he steps into the spy side of things himself with Jake on the sniper in three, two, one, playing it. Normally you'd say, what a great way to kick it off with that spy win, but it's Aquarium, and now you have to switch roles, and that's no fun. Fabsies with an instant redirect away from that bookcase, by the way, not interested in grabbing a book early on really trying hard to chase down a seduction target finally does but gets highlight in the process well so it could be for a path by amba into that spot or it could be a twin highlight we won't know for a little while yet but they did path by the amba while chasing that st funny that they ended up at the same green bookshelf they took control away from absolutely half a flirt though from it picking up a green test there not doing anything with the book Yep, still Staying not as far away from the ambassador as possible on that path, so he's not too suspicious for the bug. Yeah, it was just the flirt that brought them there. Otherwise, they would have done something with the book. They're clearly not interested in probably microfilming this game. The ST bails on them, by the way. So does the double agent. It's the same thing as last game. The spy enters, everyone they care about leaves. Yeah, this is not a great start for Thabsies. A huge chase at the, the beginning of, of the game fake contact interestingly enough and a pretty darn good one except for the fact that one of the suspected double agents is at bar yeah three possible lowlights but only three people could have a real banana bread and all of them got high lit by jake so while that you didn't get you any progress and did let off a few possible lowlights with which were not taken by the way you have put a lot of heat on the green dress cowboy and red dress Still not a whole lot of progress here. Two minutes and 20, and we still just have that one flirt. Well, Thabzies gets civilian shot at a pretty high rate, too. Not as high as Jake, though. Well, we'll see what happens as the seduction target steps back in. Not quite in range for a two flirt, but it doesn't matter as we pick up a white up to 79%. So those three characters who could have a real banana bread have not done anything yet, and that's really rough. If they do much of anything, there's a really good chance they're going to get shot. Jake shoots 80% of the time, and that fake was really interesting. If they can do anything, there's a really decent chance this is going to work, but they have not budged since that fake. Double agent joins their conversation as section target steps away. Clock is ticking, down to a minute and 35. And if you do it now, all those same three people are going to be in the same conversation the with the real. And it's like, why on earth would any of them do that? There's no reason any of them would do that. So if anything, you could almost low light those three. Contact comes off. Couple of low lights, we, but not like we've done two contacts and there are two low lights on the field right now. There were only three possible the first time and none of them got taken. The priority was noticing who could have done a reel instead and that's fine. But the fact that a whole second one comes off and you only get two is really rough. Flirt comes off at bar. That's two missions complete and we can pull off a purloin here as well. This is all starting to fall into place. Green dress sidled up next to the ambassador, but the hand was visible beneath top shark. So I think even if Jake is worried about that real BB from green dress, and after the second one, they should be launched less so, uh, probably pretty confident a bug didn't actually come off there. Drink in hand, so is a delegate. Even if we can hit this purloin, where's the last mission going to come from? Are we going to try to hit a bug by the shark at the end of the game? There's the delegate being delegated. Well, if it happens quick enough, you're not going to need to. As long as it happens in about 10 seconds, they're going to feel very, very obligated to shoot. And you can rush a lot of things here. But the ambassador is just not in a vulnerable enough position. Not at all. Seven seconds. It's going to be a big old overtime. There's the purloin, but there's not enough to get away with. The shot comes off. That drink was taken at three seconds. You do not have to shoot there anyway, amusingly enough, but they're still all over it. Yeah. Wow. 
Yeah, you can see a little bit after the second BB that uh, Jake, even though the, this replay does have some lag, I don't know if you guys are getting mm -hmm. that. Uh, but yes. he does oh, try yes, to. He absolutely. does try to. Yeah, he does fake low light tabsies there. So that's a pretty good suspicion that even though he mm -hmm. has two soft hills done, this is already looking pretty rough for him to try to win this game. Yeah, we're getting a little lag with the replays. Apologies for that. If I understand correctly, the competitors did have a little bit of connectivity issues during the match, and that will show up in the replays, unfortunately. But yeah, really, really good sniping there from Jake. Geez, two and zero oh, right out of the gate. 2-0 is a strong start. Let's see if he can keep it going from the spy side this time. In 3, 2, 1, playing it. And the Pendulum of Aquarium can swing back the other way so, so quickly. You cannot let your foot up off the gas if you're Jake. Absolutely. <laughs> Highlights for what looked like tracking bar highlights but he seems to have thought better of it and what's interesting about this too by the way i mentioned earlier they have the same record 9 and 3 that's not perfect but that's undefeated for both of them which means one of them is going to lose their very first match of the year here unless they draw it i mean i don't even know what happens <laughs> then I, I i gotta be honest i didn't even bother to look it up past that point but pretty good chance one of them is going to suffer their first loss i think after this, this is, is true it's a coin flip next right maybe uh rochambeau well jake is able to pick up that first flirt up to 34 percent but we're already under three minutes so it's not been the fastest start in the world stepping into a conversation with a double agent might be a way to make some of that time back yeah, it's a slow start, but things can happen fast on Aquarium. Missions can happen in very quick succession, unless, of course, the double agent leaves as they have two consecutive games already. A very optimistic reverse drive-by bug attempt does not come off, and then the more reasonable the opportunity for it doesn't take. Contact comes off. Oh, look at this! He split oh. off the contact right into a bug on the way across. And even though the shark provided no cover, General's bug is cover of its own. That was a really good walking bug. And it's such a weird time that the sniper really wouldn't be expecting it. It's so exposed. That doesn't feel like when you would want to bug the ambassador. And that might be why it works. Very good bug animation and a very good bug. And against Smallman, too, it's not easy. Yeah, normally when you make Smallman the ambassador, uh, you, that's not the kind of bug you're lining up for it. That's kind of the opposite. You have a tall character basically bugging the top of his head as they walk by. Green test on the flirt at the bar brings us up to 82%. We have no highlight yet. We've got the hard tell done. Yeah, and you got away with the direct purloin last time. Do you want to do something a little different this game or not? You're probably going to pick up the delegate because why the heck not? Indeed we do. Seduction target steps in the bar with us. We get the flirt on the way out. That's three missions done and a delegate in pocket. Yep, but you got to be careful here. The two people who have gone to bar after you, you don't know this, but they're low lit. If you're paying attention to the banana bread, maybe you know, maybe you don't. But you could easily get burned for this purloin, especially when they missed the first one so badly. They might be watching a lot closer this time. Still one minute to play, one mission to grab. It doesn't look like Jake is looking for a delegate, instead stepping into statues. I thought for a second they were going to Windows to kind of space out the delegate, so that going into a conversation was not the next thing they did, instead of cleaning a book, diluting a drink, basically. Instead, they're going to get rid of it entirely, I think, maybe with that Seduce done. And with Midshark coming by, they might be looking at a swap. I think they're there a little early for it. It's going to be real close. They have just enough time. To inspect, no, just puts it down. 30 seconds left to play. It looks like he's going statue to statue, or at least close to. The delegate timer expires, so we're not getting any of that. 20 seconds to play. We're stepping into statues. Here we go. This is the moment of truth, and it doesn't look like Babsies is paying attention to it. In fact, takes a different shot entirely, and Jake is up by three. Yeah, Cowboy already had a highlight, and it just put the book back. It shot right afterwards. Those are the vagaries of Aquarium, but it looks like Jake was in red. really good shape. If they're not a suspect, that second statue visit is not going to get it for them. They are just going really, first of all, the real first game really clean leading into direct purloin, and in this case, a counterintuitive bug off a split, and then clean after that. What we're seeing from Jake is they are taking these little calculated risks, and then the rest of the game is just straightforward and clean.
it's a shame that there are the connectivity issues are this bad. Uh, it's hard to say if it would be affecting one of them more than the other, but good gravy is Jake off to a run to start this off. Yeah, and Thabzi's playing fine. Thabzi's obviously has shown us a lot of skill in these casts, and I'm not seeing anything different here. It's just A, Jake's playing great, and B, Aquarium, man. You're not wrong. And now Thabzi's on the spy. Almost needs this. 4-0 and o is far from insurmountable, but it's a very tall order. Let's see what Thabzi's can do from the spy side of Aquarium on his second shot at it. In three, two, one, playing it. I'm a little disappointed. I thought a tall order might call for a small spy, but it does not. Well, we're going to get queen instead. Green flirt from a distance gives us 36% to open the game. Yeah, the green covers for the distance there, and the ST leaves right afterwards, which, hey, isn't bad, actually. Moving going relatively to slowly after that, though. Yeah, yeah, just trying to space it out, not trying to go right to the ST again. In this case, actually, could go closer if they went to white dress there. He's going to keep their distance and hit another green, so they've been spaced out from their seduction target twice, but the green test means it hasn't mattered. Yeah, two distant flirts, but both of them green. Puts us up at 75% on the flirt, which is nothing to sneeze at. Better than two close whites. Yeah, and look at this. There are already four highlights other than the, other than the Ambassador. Five now. Yeah, they're starting to pile up, and that's trouble. You cannot have this many suspects laid on Aquarium. So before you get to the end game, if you're Jake, you need to narrow this down a little bit. The BB hopefully, hopefully does a lot of that work for you, but if it doesn't, you're going to have a difficult decision to make. Good look for Thabzies as he steps into statues. It's a pair of inspects. Still no completions, but a lot of progress. Picks up a highlight for his troubles. And not so bad when you've got that many friends glowing alongside you. And looking to finish up the flirt at the blue bookcase here. Does indeed make it happen just before the section target steps away. So that's one mission complete. Do we do anything with the book? I don't think we do. Why don't, these two didn't get to the top of Challenger by taking lots of unnecessary risks, I don't think. Uh, just puts it away innocently. Minute and 45 to play. Yeah, it's almost an afterthought. You go there for the flirt, sort of, and you just say, well, you look around and you realize, well, it's actually not a good time. Maybe you get some opportunism if the shark comes right by, for example, and you're going to be credited with it anyway. But in this case, the flirt was all there was. This might be a time ad. It is a time ad. It's white, though. Bit and... of cover from the shark. Red Dress checks her watch just afterwards at the opposite window with no cover and walks away quickly afterwards. It's possible. And if they just noticed it now, Orange There's Dress might highlight. also be a suspect. Yeah. So this is interesting. Red Dress, Orange Dress, also possible time ad suspects if Thabzies wasn't nailed on it. Swap in the back! White Swap with no cover. I don't... I'm trying to think. Who was there first? It doesn't matter. The shot comes off. Yeah, nobody was there before. That's just a straight swap. I wonder, you see this sometimes when someone's hitting a lot of greens. Sometimes they just kind of, they bank on a green, right? And it's okay to say at that point, if I get a green swap, I think I'm okay here. I can rush into bug or I can rush into contact or something like that. In fact, let me see where they're headed. I mean, they're walking away there. You can't see where they're going to go, but I think I saw a move to the left. And it looks like maybe they're headed for that bottom right conversation from the sniper's perspective. Maybe they're thinking I BB to distract from a green swap, something like that. And if they green it, it works. But you can't count on the action tests if that was the case. And Jake, you said not quite insurmountable, uh, but it's pretty darn close. Four nothing on Aquarium. He was looking so good, but one unnecessary risk banking on the time ad that we weren't able to hit loses us a very, very winnable game. And now it's four to nothing as Jake steps into the spy side of Courtyard. In three, two, one, playing it. And that was Thabzi's pick. 
Oh, man. That is brutal. I, I know the feeling. It's happened to me occasionally. Jake opens things up by seeking out the double agent, interestingly enough. Banana bread. Early contact right into a split gets high lit for it. There's In that conversation split. conversation with the seduction target now, but not quite close enough. There's that split again. They like it. it worked last time. And weirdly enough, Jake's uh, record on Courtyard, spy side, 68%. Excellent, right? 44 games, too, as they played it a ton. Only 55% on Sniper, though. Very strange. Seduction target bails on Jake, so he's not able to get a start on that. Two and a half minutes now. Fabsies has a similar record on Courtyard, by the way. This was, of course, Jake's pick, but they both have very similar overall records on it. Uh, definitely spy favored relative to Sniper, at least here for these two challengers. So we've got the contact. Don't really have anything else right now, though. Yeah, it's a good one early banana light. bread. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. Yeah, uh, you've given yourself a lot of choices here, especially if you can get this first flirt off, and that's going to help. Seduction target gets nice and snuggly at the two-minute mark. We pick up a green flirt for 51%. And the question is now, do you go do something like inspect? Do you get yourself a fingerprint, or do you timer flirt here? It's always tempting a timer flirt when you get a green on the first one and just be done with it in one big move. Yeah, it looks like Jake is going to have a go at the timer flirt, see if he can hit two greens. You have enough time here that you can still go to statues and finish if they bail on you. There's a lot of things you can do, so it's lower risk than usual. Well, if he bails, it's going to be tight. We're already under a minute and 30. We haven't been to statues yet. Usually you want to have about a minute left on the clock to try to figure out how to deal with your hardtail, but he does indeed hit the two flirt with a minute and 10 left to play, so Jake is looking pretty good right now. Yeah, and he hasn't moved basically all game at this point, so if Thabsies is noticing you at all, they're noticing that you're not doing much. Jake now steps into statues for those pair of inspects. Already highlights, so we won't see anything there. Yeah, pretty straightforward. Definitely being watched, and you're Stop. on screen. And there's the green. There's the green, and he was definitely seeing statues quite a bit. Ambassador was on the screen, too. Toby was on the other side. Actually, what you want to do now is, yeah, you want to be on the same side as the ambassador. You want to draw their attention. Toby and the ambassador, if they're on opposite sides, uh-oh. Toby is giving him reason to look at that statue now. That was a death sentence if it wasn't a green test, but he did hit the green. Highlight picks it up. There it is. There's the swap completely on camera. Saw the fade. Knows it's green. Takes the shot. And Thabsies is on the board. Jake got everything they wanted there. The ST, they got a good banana bread early. The ST came to them. They timer flirted. The ST didn't bail on them. They hit another green. And then a highlight picked up their pending swap, which they also greened. Jake's plan went exactly the way they wanted. They got plenty of help from the party, but Thabsies was just all over it anyway. Man, if he hadn't hit that green test, he was dead for sure. And I think the only way he loses that game is if Thabsies gets a good look at the fade. Yep, and did he did. Yeah, did his work there. Realized it was a big threat. Hey, a highlight was just in a statue late in courtyard, and another highlight picked it up. So in that sense, it actually might have been bad luck that a highlight picked it up because now he's like, I absolutely need to see this fade uh, because yeah. a suspect is picking it up after a suspect. So uh, just really good job there. Good awareness. It's easy to lose your bearings at the end of courtyard with a lot of activity, but Thabzies keeps it alive. And now he's on the spy side of things, and if he can pick this up. He's right back into this contest. Let's see what he's able to make of this in three, two, one, playing it. Yeah, the tough thing for Thabsies is you could play really well from here on out, but that crazy run an aquarium in the beginning could just totally counteract it. Yeah. Sometimes... In a situation like this, even if you play at the very peak of your game, it's just not enough to make that comeback. Yeah, that's the thing. You get in this hole and you kind of have to play differently. You have to take more chances because you could play, I mean, really, really well. You could win three out of four on Courtyard and you're still behind the eight ball. 51% on the first flirt. Both parties step away pretty quick from it. Now in conversation with the double agent.
double agent steps away, unfortunately, so we're not able to make anything of that. Jake's showing really good rotation and really seems to be focusing around Ambassador. You can look at how they're moving back and forth, keeping that laser busy, but you can always kind of tell what their center is, what their focal point is. And in this case, it really looks like the Ambassador is the focal point for Jake. Bug being watched very, very closely. And of course, it's all the easier when Toby is offering to the Ambassador anyway, and everything you need to stare at is on the screen together. No more progress from Thabzies after that early. Actually have to twitch back in the conversation. It went in a little bit too far there. 85% after the white test on the second flirt. Thabzies does not like finishing inspects if they can help it. They have an unbelievably low inspect rate, 17%. And their purloin rate's only 11. And that's without even factoring in the fact that we're on courtyard. So I think they're going to be looking elsewhere here. They're going to be looking at a late swap. Maybe a fingerprint, but if it's going to be a fingerprint, they're going to need to do it sooner rather than later. Their bug rate is high, but as we, as I mentioned earlier, bug is being watched very closely. In conversation with the and double the agent, room. there it comes off on the green test for our first completed mission with a minute and 15 left to play. That's not what you want to see on Courtyard. No, but there are a few highlights, just three so far, not much, but at this point, it's hard to imagine you're going to be able to finish without getting shot. Come on, I'm gonna walk through that tunnel. God dang it. Under a minute now. Still just the one mission completion. Wide around the statue. Trying to display that he's not bugging the ambassador. Takes a very spy-like path by accident. Not able to get the flirt off because he hits the red test. Has to chase to the window. That's pretty aggressive, but Jake is still focused on that ambassador. Toby's off screen. They don't even care. And that's probably a good call, as I mentioned, with Thabzi's per low purloin rate. Action test ignored on the next one. Doesn't want to hit another red, but with only 20 seconds left and two missions to get, uh -oh. I don't know if uh -oh. this is doable. Here's they the purloin. It's a white test right in front of the camera. The shot comes off, but it's not the correct one. Amazing. Wow. I did not see that coming. There's a... Re there's a take. There's a, actually a take from Kane right before that. They must have just seen it too late. Oh my god, didn't see the fade and assumed it was green. Well, but even if they did, Kane has a has a drink. He took right before that. He took right before that. So either he mistakes it for green and doesn't realize Kane doesn't have a drink, or maybe he thinks it's a reject and then a retake. Or he just doesn't even see it until the list is gone completely, doesn't see the fade, has to shoot someone who he remembers rejected. It's, it's one of those three, we don't know which, but it's a really strange miss shot from Jake there, and a really strange miss and from, choice from Thabzies. They do not like to purloin at all, but they were so desperate there on Courtyard, they had no choice. Wow, that is not how I thought that game was going to end, but Thabzies... Picks up two in a row on Courtyard. Might have bought himself a way back into this match. Let's see if he can keep it going from the sniper side. In three, two, one, playing it. Yeah, definitely a mental error there. I can only come up with a couple possible explanations where that shot would actually make sense, and they seem unlikely, to say the least. Kind of feels like he was itching to shoot Kane there and just needed the slightest pretext, even though there wasn't much there. Jake opens things off at statues and picks up a highlight for his trouble. Is one of two right off the top. Ooh, gets caught on his way out of the statues as well. Green test on the first flirt brings him up to 51%, though. Yeah, Probably just going to timer flirt this to slow things down a bit. Uh, worked before, yeah, and Jake really loves to prioritize that seduce, as I mentioned, does not want to get caught not finishing it. Looks like Timer Flirt is, in fact, the call. As Jake just hangs out, chats with his fellow partygoers, and waits for that bar to finish going down so he can get the next flirt off. There it is, another green. It's a two flirt, and that's a second mission completed with two minutes left to play. There is a fingerprint on a statue there if they want to go for it. Jake doesn't favor fingerprint that much, but I think it actually be pretty powerful here. It's been sitting there for, I think, about 30 or 40 seconds already. Plenty has happened in the meantime. I would go for it. 
unintuitive to go back to statues, but it might be a good call here. Mm -hmm. Well, picking up the briefcase fingerprint instead. Might have been a little bit close to the ambassador, but took it anyways. And now there's a, pr there's a printed statues for the, uh, for the win, potentially. It wasn't egregious by any means. No, it's definitely borderline enough that I think they're going to be fine. Down to a minute and five. Just picked up a drink, so isn't going to statues anytime soon. My guess is they're not aware of that print. Double agent now, but the double agent bails under a minute. And now things are getting a little scary. You had really good pacing before with that two flirt. That opened things up. So did the print but with the double agent bailing. Oh, coming back in. That'll work. Double agent has returned. 40 seconds. I think and you have to red. take that contact now. And Jake agrees. The shot comes off. Fabsies somehow is onto it. It's four to three. Might have just been suspicious of the fingerprint, worried they missed a second one. That might be enough. I don't know. Could have been a desperate shot, too, but wow, they nail him for it. Some of the connectivity issues make it a little difficult to tell, for example, if there are animation breaks that we might have missed, etiquette issues, things like that, especially with all that sipping going on. But if you caught one print, maybe you were suspicious of that briefcase distance. Like you said, that might be it. Yeah, looking at uh, Thabsy's laser, definitely a huge focus was on Jake during that return definitely think it was too close and at the end talk mm -hmm. into sip even with the lag mm -hmm. is definitely not something ai can do so if thabsy yeah, knows that geez. then that can just be a confirm on jake right there scary scary challengers yeah maybe neither of those things enough by itself but you combine them and they're able to take the shot what a win things are getting interesting tobo jake went up four to nothing on thabsy's pick Fabsies has hit back for three in a row of his own and is now having a chance to tie things up at four from the spy side of Courtyard in three, two, one, playing it. We've been so effusive about the play here in Challenger. I think Are it's... Bug! <laughs> oh, and it's immediately over. I was going to say, yeah. we've been so effusive about the play of these Challenger players. I do want to criticize, though, a little bit of their uh, their map choices, uh, because until that right there, they were 0-7 on their map picks. Um, yeah. But that will actually bring it back. I, I don't blame them, but that is actually huge. As quick as that was, they were one game away from pulling it all the way back. And now, 5-3. to three. That's much harder. You are running out of time. It's still very doable, especially considering the start. Thabsies is on a run, and even though we got caught out for that one, it was so quick that's not really going to stall his momentum too much. Thabsies is still feeling good about this going into library. Let's see what he can do in 3, 2, 1, playing it. Looks like an instant bug attempt for them, too, but it's in the chaos of library, and I don't think it was seen. Jake opening things up at green bookcase. Gets his bookmarked as well. Yeah, mark them all you can, guys. It's going away before Transfers it off a white test on camera. Doesn't well, get caught for it. Dabsies was swinging back. I think the head tilt was a little visible, but it's actually very hard to catch the end of a microfilm if you're swinging back onto it. So very difficult to tell, and it's not obvious from the laser movement either if they're any kind of suspect for that. That was a buggable range. There was someone in between them. That was very doable, but didn't come off. We've got green microfilm in pocket, just picked up the first flirt, and we are in conversation with a double agent. And we're behind a pillar. We feel safe. And the there's the contact coming off. Jake is not going to split after doing it twice already. Even though it's more effective on library, arguably, than courtyard or aquarium. Four low lights so far. Pretty standard for library. You'll take it. Both of them will. And a white purloin coming off from behind the pillar. 
Thabzies is not looking. They're watching. They're watching cowboy statues near the ambassador. They're just staring at the ambassador. Nowhere even near. I don't even know if he was able to get a look at that no. tray before the it went down. Certainly knows now that the list is gone, but I don't think he knows where it came from. Center Statues now picks up a highlight and is probably going to get all three of these inspects. The only hope here is that they think, wow, this person is at statues. Maybe that's the spy bailing. The statues as spies do so often after a purloin. But they didn't see a fade. They don't know when it was gone. They never even saw Jake with a drink. They were staring that ambassador down. They were banking on Bug at that point, And they missed purloin instead. And now Jake is in a dominating position. Not Three just in the match, but in the game. down. Two minutes and 15 to play. This is looking beautiful for Jake. I don't think Jake knows this, but they really don't have to do anything else. I really got to imagine a shot's going to come off here, even if they don't finish. It's okay that that's not a pad. It's okay. Yeah. You can just stand well, there as if it is. Wasn't very pretty movement, but we missed the pad. It's, again, as you were saying, it's fine. It looks fine. Stepping into yellow bookcase now to finish up this transfer. And look at this. Once again, Thabsies is on the other side of the map. He's not looking. Because the Ambassador and Cowboy again. I would think the Purloin would basically rule Cowboy out, but apparently they're not confident about that, and it looks like they're still worried about the Ambassador too. This is Transfer just free. Transfer is done completely clean. A minute and a half to play for two flirts. Cowboy with a print. Chasing down. Cowboy with a print. This, is, this, this could be it. If Cowboy does one more thing after this. Green test on the second flirt brings us up to 85%. Minute and 15 to get the last one. I cannot imagine Jake losing this game. No, I can't either. It's just a question of how he's going to win it. He's very likely going to get that sixth win and force either an outright win today or, I don't know, like I said, a coin flip maybe if the Habsies can pull it back. <laughs> we'll see. But dominating position in the match and the game alike. Just waiting on the timer flirt now. It's only a matter of time. Jake just too worried about Cowboy and not able to rule him out from the Purloin. That's what's really strange to me. Usually when you're tunneling on someone and you miss something like Purloin, usually the upshot is, well, I at least can rule out the person I'm tunneling on because I've been watching them so close. And I've been watching them so close, I would have seen them reject, right? So it's very strange that they tunneled to miss the purloin and yet continued possibly to tunnel on them afterwards, if that is indeed what was happening. But that really did feel like a tunneling kind of game, yeah. Well, it is now official. Jake goes up to six. Three match points to play with. The first one with Thabsies on the spy in library, playing as small men in three two, one, playing it. There it is. Tall order, small spy, like what I was saying earlier. Thabsies needs three in a row, but hey, they've already won three in a row in this set. Thabsies opens things up with a red flirt. Uh, that's, that's, less, that's less impressive. Yeah, that's... But look at those statue visitors it. early. Jake is highlighting for statues. It's library. Three early visitors. Oh, two, more on the other side. Oh, this party's going to be glowing before long. It sure is. This is... Very, very useful to Thabsies moving forward. Thabsies on library has disgusting numbers. 83% on spy, 78% on sniper. Jake's are just merely very, very, very good. But Thabsies are absurd. So this is the venue they want to be playing on if they have to be in this position. Double time ad from the back window. One of them's green. Oh my goodness. Jeez. It doesn't, doesn't look like Jake has noticed. If they haven't, the combination of early statue visitors with the time means that this party is just going to get out of control eventually. If, if you're not the kind of sniper, and I'm sorry, as good as you are in Challenger, you're probably not, who just whittles the party down with low light, uh, etiquette low lights and things like that over time, AI bouncing, then time ads work against you very explicitly, and eventually you just have the whole party as a suspect. Green flirt comes off for 43% at a bit of a distance. And Thabsies has all the time in the world. Yeah, and not all those green. As the sniper can see, there's still over four minutes left, so they know they've missed something. Jake is very worried about that bug. They are snapping back and forth. They almost were trying to bait Duke, I think, into bugging.
and it did not happen because, well, Duke's not the spy. There's the flirtation cooldown. Look at Babs, he's waiting for his turn to talk like a good boy. Another green test, 87%. Well, you're not exactly in a rush now, are you? You don't, sure don't have to be. This is looking so good for Babsies. Yeah, five highlights, no lowlights. So the sniper's saying, don't worry, I've got it narrowed down to someone in the library. Perfect. It's definitely someone in this library. I'm sure of it. Looks like he was eyeing up the double agent, but couldn't find a way into conversation. Now it's opened up a bit. We're stepping in. Jake is whipping back to the ambassador every couple seconds. They will linger on the screen with the ambassador, but every time they take the ambassador off screen, they whip back after a second or two. They are all in on trying to catch this bug from Fabsies. And I don't blame them. Fabsies bugs 43% of the time. That's pretty high. Fabsies really using the extra time he has. And Down under three minutes. There's the contact coming off. Finally, a pair of low lights. Yeah, only two were, like, totally explicit, I think, on screen. Twin might have been. Everyone else, you have to assume, because they weren't on screen, potentially. That is not a high number. No, it's not. Two minutes and 35 now. Yeah, Fabsies is clearly sh saying to themselves... Another time ad! White this time! Might have been one too many. I think that one's a little too cute. But look, Fabsies with the contact done and the seduce most of the way, I think they're saying, geez, if Jake actually manages to hold this freaking shot after all this time, I want to have a way to finish. But there's no way that's what you're expecting. There's no way you're expecting Jake to hold this shot. I don't think Jake noticed the time ad. There doesn't seem to be any indication of it. Low lights are not coming off or anything like that. Still just a three from the banana bread. Tabsies is probably thinking, what's a guy got to do to get a sieve shot around here? Yeah, you're not wrong. Stepping in for the last flirt at the windows. Ignores the action test. Flirt is done. That's two out of five missions. Tabsies has done absolutely nothing to put himself on the radar. Now finally stepping into a bookcase. And Jake is zooming in around the Ambassador, too. Just still, the Ambassador is the focal point here. <laughs> Just so convinced Thabsies is going to bug sooner or later. Yeah, Thabsies is apparently reading a yellow book called How to Make Sniper Shoot, and it just says, keep time adding. Yeah. Well, doesn't do anything with the book. Now under two minutes, Thabsies is behind the time curve after three time ads, but he's playing that game very intentionally. He is trying to just force Jake to take a shot. I think so, and it's a perfectly decent strategy. The best snipers, if they're not getting, at again, etiquette lowlights, pathing lowlights over time, then these time ads just amass a ridiculous number, potentially, of suspects, people who could finish, people who could have fingerprint, people who could have inspects, things like that, and the banana bread was good, too. Fabsies is doing everything right if this is indeed their plan, but so far they haven't counted on Jake holding that shot. Bug that, bug that, come on, Tabsies, That was free please. at the end. That was free for a couple seconds. A bug would have looked exactly the same as no bug for a couple seconds there, but you have to have confidence as spy that you have read the angle properly. That's tough to do. You don't realize, though, that it would have been totally invisible at a moment there. And now under one minute to play. I just don't think Dabsies wants to finish missions. I mean, why would he? He's thinking, how on earth is this guy going to hold his shot? We're talking like six plus minutes here. Takes a purloin on a white test. Has shown a hard tell now. How does how does Jake hold the shot now that a hard tell's been shown? 30 seconds. He's I not taking a shot. He's still not shooting. There's 30 seconds left. Absolutely needs two more missions. Has to be in disbelief right now. What more can you do? Do we just uh, you... give the ambassador a hug and head to statues? I mean, I think you're going to have to. I mean, at this point, it's like, what do you... Yeah, what do you do? You have to crash bug. No, they're just going to have to time... I guess do it again. Time Dream ad again. Time ad? It was a white test! The shot comes off! And Jake! 
how, how do you how do you even summarize that? Six minutes and fifty seconds. That's how long that game was. One of the longest in SCL history. Technically, it ends with the sniper shooting, but that's not the story of the game. The story of the game was not shooting for six minutes and 49 seconds on library. The man doesn't blink. And this is on library with a hard tell show. That was the real test at the end, and Jake passed it. If you're Thabsies, you had a good game plan. You executed it well. You got away with everything you needed to. You just tip your cap to a very disciplined sniper. Wow. I am very, very impressed. Yeah, congratulations to Jake Armstrong on winning a very shockingly competitive challenger, and as well to Thabsies for pushing it down to the wire and having such a good gambit at the end, even though it didn't work. I think it was a good plan. I think it was well executed. Sometimes, though, if the sniper is really on their game, they're just going to win. That's what happened there.